Hi, thank you for watching the Oriental Motor Technology video. My name is Grant, and today we'll be discussing the Flex Drive technology featuring Modbus RTU control. We will demonstrate a live PLC demonstration with a PLC communicating directly to a Flex Drive product. Shown before you is the system layout. We have a PLC which will be connected to our desktop computer where we will actually be able to monitor the communication or the actual functionality in real time in, in, with our demonstration in just a few moments. Through the onboard RS-485 port, we have it directly connected to our flex drive product. In this specific example, it will be connected to a flex drive AR drive. And also we have uh, some I.O. coupled so we can uh, simulate switching to actually run the program. At this time I'd actually like to go ahead and show you the demonstration unit. So on this board we have two motors. On the right side is an NX servo motor and standard driver. But in this demonstration, however, we won't really be using it. In the back, we can see our PLC and our I.O. connections. Here is our 485 uh, RS-485 module, which can also be configured for uh, 232 as well as 422. And here is our uh, input and output I.O. indicator lamps. We have our 24-volt DC power supply powering the entire system, and then we have our AR flex drive. And here is our AR motor. In this demonstration, we will be rotating the motor one revolution per index. So every time I give the PLC a command to run, and I'll do that by switching on the zero input, the motor will index 1,000 pulses forward or one revolution. I'm going to go ahead and sample, show you that now as I activate input zero. So I'm going to go ahead and index that one more time. As you can see, we have our RS-485 communication terminated using this RJ-45 connector. And you will also see on the rest of the drive, we have no I.O. connections hooked up at this time, except for main power and control voltage, 24 volt. Now here's a close-up of the PLC we're going to use. Again, this is the RS-45 module. And I also want to indicate, as of right now, you can see that we have no output indication lamps on at this time. So for the control device requirements, if you are going to be using an HMI or a PLC, it needs to be RS-485 capable. The pro protocol would need to be RT, uh, Modbus RTU. Uh, the baud rates can be selectable up to 115, 200 bits per second. It's asynchronous mode with eight data bits, one or two stop bits, odd, even, or no parity. When I set up the communication protocol for the PLC, I selected Modbus RTU as the protocol. The maximum baud rate we could select was 38, 400 bits per second, so I selected that. Default settings for the parity were even, so we selected even. And then we selected Modbus RTU Master Mode. Now this will be, this will be dependent upon the device that you're using on how other parameters will need to be set up. For the communication, we selected RS-485, and we also selected one stop bit, since this is the default settings for the flex drive. Now 
let's take a closer look at the actual sample code. This uh, program, this ladder program, is very simple just to demonstrate the overall functionality. We have an open rung here, or an open contact, which uh, represents our zero input. Every time that this is activated, we send a Modbus message, which is basically run profile zero. And then we clear the bit on, um, after we send the message. Down here, we are constantly reading the position feedback by sending another Modbus message. After we read the feedback, we send that feedback data into this position count variable one, and we compare it to another variable. When that variable is equal to or greater than, or excuse me, when the position count is equal to or greater to than the other variable, we will turn on the output zero, which is notated here. So with this PLC, the first thing we had to do was set the channel setting for the serial port. In this case, we selected port five. For the trigger type, zero for a one shot or one to keep repeating while active. In this case, we, we selected a one shot. The Modbus function code we used is six, which is write to a register. The element is the number of registers to write to, in this case, which was one. For the register address, we wanted to write to 7D hex or 125 decimal. But because of the PLC, PLC specification, we did have to add one to the register address. So in this case, you can see we have 126 here for the register address. And then the, finally, the slave address in this case is one. Then we have then we have to send the data of what we want to that register. And for 7D, if we activate MS0 or bit 8, it will simply run the zero profile. Therefore, we can send 256, which is equi equivalent to 1000000 binary. And this will activate bit 0. Now, when we read the register, it's the same re uh, steps repeated, except this time we selected one because we wanted to keep repeating while it was activated. And the modbus bus function code in this case was three, which is read a register. And then we select one for the amount of registers to read. We wanted to read the position feedback, which is from the resolver. This is the regist register address 205. Again, we have to add one, so we actually enter in 206 as the data. And then the slave address again is one. Now, when this data comes back, we want to put it, store it in register read output ladder one. And then the variable that we want to compare it with will be ready one, which was set to 10,000. So basically, when the position feedback gets to a value of 10,000, uh, 10, when it's greater than or equal to 10,000, we will then perform the next function. So if register 205 is greater than or equal to 10,000, perform the next function. At this time, I'd like to start desktop sharing to show you this in real time. So before you, you can see the ladder program. When the input is blue, it is not active. I'm going to go ahead and activate that input to go ahead and run the program. And you will see it change from the blue state to the red state. So this is the third time we've indexed this motor. And if we scroll down on the program, we can see that looking at the position feedback, we are at 3,000 for the read output ladder. This data is also sent over to this rung where we can see the same value. I'm going to go ahead and index it again. You will see this value increase as I index it. So now we're at 4,000. I also want to note if I move the motor out of place because this is a closed loop motor, the it will snap back into place, but also note that the position value changes. So let's index it again until we reach the 10,000 mark.
So after I index it this last time, we will see this color change from blue to red as we have met this criteria in this conditional statement. So we are now outputting zero. Output zero. Now we can verify this on the PLC by looking at the indicator lamp. We can see that output one, excuse me, is now active. So here's a demonstration of controlling the AR Flex Drive through Modbus RTU communications. If you do have any questions, feel free to contact us at 1-800-468-3982 or email us at techsupport at oriatsumoto.com. For more information on the FlexDrive product, feel free to browse our other technology videos. My name is Grant, and thank you for watching.